Hello, everybody, and welcome on into my review of the Fesley FEP 760. Once again, Fesley was kind enough to send me this piano to try out in uh, exchange for my honest feedback, which I will give to you honestly. So right away, I was excited to look at this piano because of its aesthetic. This baby is easy on the eyes. It's got this nice, beautiful wooden veneer. I don't believe it's actually wood, um, but you could have fooled me. This is a piece that I think that you could have in an apartment, in, um, you know, a kid's room, and, uh, you know, really appreciate how it looks. That's something you can't say about all electronic pianos, you know? It comes up pre-disassembled, so you do have to attach these uh, wooden legs onto it. It's nice and sturdy. It um, has a good weight to it, and, you know, it looks good next to a bookshelf. So they say beauty is only skin deep, so we're going to have to hear if it sings as well as it looks. So for this sound test, I am connected in via aux cable to my audio box, so you'll get a direct line to hear what this piano's internal sounds sound like. And you'll also pick up a little bit of the sound from the external speakers in my microphone right here. So that right there was the default piano sound of this piano. Let's hear just a few more tones. Here's a bright piano. We've got your classic honky tonk. Let's check out an organ, shall we? This is the first strings patch. It sounds like it's from a video game from like the Super Nintendo era. So at this point in the review, um, I do want to bring up the price of this piano, which is currently on Amazon going for $479.99. Now the reason that we kind of use price as a gauge for pianos like this is because there's certainly different types of tiers of electronic pianos. And if you were a professional musician, you would most likely be looking at pianos that run five times the cost of this, more like the $2,000, $3,000, even $4,000 range. So at $479, almost $500, we're looking at the cost savings of buying a piano for a fraction of the price of a really high-end piano and also what you miss. And one of the things that you miss is quality of sound. I personally think that this bass piano sound is not, not by any means the worst bass piano sound I've heard before. It also uh, has a pretty decent decay in my opinion. You can hear how the sound kind of just keeps on going for a little bit, which is nice. Not all our trunk electronic pianos have that capability. Some just have a abrupt digital ending to the sound. This one, yeah, not so much. It kind of, it rings on for a little bit, which is really nice. Now I mentioned this before in a previous review, I believe even in the last Fesley piano that I reviewed, and this still holds true uh, in my opinion, is that the internal sounds of a piano are not as important to me as a piano player. And the reason is, is because even with my higher end piano that I use uh, for all the work that I do here on YouTube, I don't actually use any of the internal sounds on that keyboard. It's got so many, and so many are very, very good, but, they're never gonna be as good as the virtual instruments that you can buy on a computer. The point is, is that you can play any piano so long as you're willing to hook it up to, you know, an audio box, to a, to a MacBook, to a, a laptop, to a computer, you can get some really, really nice sounds and you don't have to really rely heavily on the piano's internal sounds. So much more important to me is how the piano feels. And this is a way to key piano which is, in my opinion, a must. Especially if you're gonna pay around $500. Uh, you're gonna want that. Uh, the gold standard, I think, of every piano 
is to basically sound and look like an acoustic piano. And so having weighted keys can simulate that feel of digging into an acoustic piano. Yeah, so the keys are relatively responsive. They don't go as far as I would hope dynamically wise. But once again, that is a symptom of it being where it is price-wise. You will save quite a bit of money, but you will also lose some features. And that is one thing that you will lose is the dynamic range of a more high-end keyboard. Let's take a quick look at all of the buttons. So it did take me a little bit to figure out how to actually uh, operate this control area, but just pointing out some of the basic things that this keyboard has. It's got a drum kit. We've got beats. You can uh, record yourself playing. And let's hear it. One thing I forgot to uh, bring up, which I do love, and I love this about Fesley, is that they have a three petal sustain pedal. A beautiful looking piece, which is nice because this whole piano is really, really pretty looking. And if you're gonna have it out and about, you want a sustain pedal that looks as elegant as the rest of the piano, which this one certainly does. Uh, it's got a nice uh, book stand here, which I have not had up because it blocks the keys, but. There you go. It also comes with a pair of headphones. And something else I love about Fesley, uh, the last piano I got too, also came with a cloth cover to keep the dust off or, you know, dress it up like it is going to the Renaissance Fair. So I wanna end the review by talking about my opinion on who this piano may be right for. If you are a pro musician and you're looking for a gigging piano, this is not the right piano. One, it is better suited just stationary in a home. It's not really a piano built for taking out and about, though you could physically do that if you did remove the brass legs. But of course, if you're a gigging musician, you probably already know or are looking at pianos in a much higher end tier that is more of a performance grade piano. So this piano being less than $500, I think is definitely in the economy range of pianos, which is best suited for beginners or, you know, for people that uh, enjoy playing piano but are less picky about the internal sounds or don't need all the gizmos and gadgets of additional, you know, strings and trumpets and, and high quality fidelity-like instrumental sounds from their piano, but rather just need a basic piano sound. And it's for people that want a really nice looking piano. I mean, this piano would work in any room. You know, it is a beautiful piece. It doesn't look cheap. It doesn't look clunky or awkward. It's just a really nice, nice, pleasant look. And you could hook it up to a computer to get an even better sound out of it. Most people I think would buy this piano because it's economical. It sounds decent for the price range that it's at and it looks really, really nice. And it has uh, weighted keys enabling you to get that closer to real acoustic piano feel. All right, everybody, that's it for me today. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope that it was informative in some manner <laughs> in making your decision about buying your next piano. Bye.